You're welcome. This is Dirty Drone number 10. Another one based on the 808 Psy Drone, the symbol uh, sound module of the 808 drum machine. Mm. It, the circuit has been developed by Tony Light from Lab, and I have been modifying it a little bit with uh, a body contact section here. Uh, one body contact per oscillator. Uh, the filter section is the same. It's a 12 dB resonant filter and then I added uh, an LFO which uh, controls the frequency, cutoff frequency of the filter. It's uh, in a recycled wine bottle box I guess. can be shut and clipped shut. It has some crappy and dirty layout uh, and design. It looks pretty rugged. It's, uh, as I said, re mostly recycled materials. The knobs are new. Some uh, scavenged electronic components, but also new ones. Uh, aluminium faceplate and the output is a uh, uh, instrument jack uh, is known from most guitars and such. Uh, it runs on 9 to 12 volts. I would say 12 volt is the best. Uh, it's good to have a super filtered uh, power supply. DC, the jack is inside its plus and outside its grounds. And um, I can plug it in. It's going to a small 15 watts guitar cabinet. It has some some hum here. Uh, I think it's from the power supply. Uh, the oscillators are in this order arranged. This is according to that. This is 60, uh, 666 hertz. This is 333 hertz. This is 303 hertz. 214, 176, and 119. Let's hear it. It's a super high frequency here, yeah. otherwise, it's cut off. The more you crank them open, the more they start to distort. They add some noisy distortion somehow. The body contacts function in the way that if you touch it, you modulate the sound. If there's another oscillator on, say like this. connect them somehow and they generate some overtones you can modulate you can lick your fingers so they conduct even more then you get these kind of effects here's the filter cutoff frequency and here's the resonance goes to self-oscillating screams. They can get pretty loud. Depending on how moist or uh, dry your fingers are, you can also modulate the sound a little bit by pressing, because then the conductive surface is like conducting more on these body contacts, so you can very subtly 
modulate the sounds and add quite a bit of overtones that are partly pulsating depending on the filter settings as well. With this toggle switch you can dial in the LFO. It's going in the range from super fast, which is kind of indistinguishable with the with the ears in this side in the fast part of the dial. It's very sensitive. It very quickly goes like this, but if you're very sensitive dial it, you can get this fluttering tones as well. Well, and then it goes mostly very slow. This is 12, 12 o'clock. And here we have a depth knob, which modulates how much the LFO is affecting the cutoff frequency and the UV indicator light and those two green LEDs are just to blind your eyesight or as I thought if you play in complete darkness then uh, you can put your hand over it and from the inside of your hand if you're not using uh, non-reflective material the light will shine on the side of the drone box so you can see the pots and uh, how they stand and if you do like reflect this light over here you can see the LFO and filter section or if you put your hands on the body contacts you will pretty much automatically reflect the light to the surface control surface of this instrument. The more you crank up the depth of the LFO, the higher the frequency becomes. Self oscillation part. It gets very screamy. And there we also have the effect that the filter can start to oscillate itself. Let's see if it's possible with the LFO on. Maybe not. So then we can, in some positions I figured out, we get some very... I don't know if I get it now. Ah, here it is. There we have this rhythmic. That's when the filter gets overcharged and the capacitors, capacitors in the filter start to bleed or something like that. There you can get some pretty interesting
this pulsating effect you can get in this position of the filter where uh, it's self oscillating without the LFO. Can adjust the speed of this weird phenomenon. Slick the fingers and This is all without any effects, as I said, the signal goes to a 15 watts guitar amp standing here in the back of the room, probably my voice is even louder than this. Um, of course if this should be played through delay or reverb or what have you to generate really nice drone scapes in which you kind of smear these like little adjustments you can make with your fingers from kind of rhythmic depending on how you touch the body contacts or depending on the settings of the filter and LFO well that's mostly it. Thanks for watching. Visit our page. The link is somewhere below. And it's purchasable.